event, having the guys out here and you guys get to mingle with them. I don't know if we've been able to do that on these days the last couple years. Uh, so really good to get the guys here and let you guys mingle with them one-on-one -on -one as well. I uh, appreciate you guys coming out last night for the first night. Uh, really good work. And uh, the, one of my favorite things about this group, and you guys got to be around them today, is the attitude, the demeanor. Uh, they've got an edge. They've got a chip on their shoulder. And, uh, you know, we just got to continue to do that uh, throughout preseason camp. Uh, coach Lou uh, talked to him, my head strength coach talked to him last night, talked about the gains, the development, uh, the new guys that we've brought in, uh, and now just excited for the preseason camp for all of those gains, all that development, all the work to pay off and play really good brand of football uh, to make everybody in the organization proud, all the fan base proud, and uh, we just really like the, the chip on their shoulder that they have right now and uh, continue to grow and develop. Uh, and execute at a high level. Okay. Question? And you talked about, you know, you'd have a lot of off-season for the cutouts. Yep. And, if, and how did that affect the players? Have you seen a difference from the players, you know, knowing they had that, that long period of time off? Uh, what the, the best part in the, the way we had structured it uh, was to do the install, was to go through spring practices, then be able to go back through that six-week period after spring ball to exams, then revisit it with the new rules that we were able to be out there with them this summer. Uh, we were able to have football school with them where we could actually meet with the guys throughout the summer. And I hope, you know, that was very beneficial. You saw it on day one of, of preseason camp, the install, you know, it's now probably the third time that they've gone through the installs and uh, the communication, the Christmas, the execution, uh, for the most part, we're, we're ahead of where we would have been without those kind of things. Uh, so really appreciate the guys, how they embraced it, uh, how they took advantage of it, and uh, then came out here uh, last night and uh, executed pretty well. And now we just got to continue to do that. Yeah. Coach, you just touched on it a little bit. I mean, time is usually a premium for a, for a coach, but I mean, using that luxury, how much does it benefit you guys with all the new faces you have, not right. only player-wise, but sure. coaches? Yeah, it's huge. Uh, you know, really excited about the new uh, people that we have in the organization, obviously the new coaches uh, that have come on staff, really excited about the additions there. Uh, and then I think we've got 17 new transfers to the organization. And uh, I think there was uh, 20 new freshmen that came in uh, over the summer. So just the way the guys have embraced them, uh, taught them the way we do things, taught them the new schematics. And uh, I think the time has been beneficial, but you know, we still got, uh, some time until we get to the first game, and we got to improve and got to get better. Kelly, coach, from talking to people around the organization and the players today, it seems like the buy-in was really high in the off-season, and guys are sure. sort of tired of the losing and, and yep. wanting to, to that cultural piece, but leading as a player, what thing is that something you saw in the off-season? Yeah, the, the biggest piece is just the embracing of the new guys. Uh, and just you know, bringing them in, being excited that they're being added to the roster. And uh, you can just see, the, I'm glad you guys got to see it today, just the bonds uh, that they created and uh, the respect that they have for each other. And you saw it last night, I'm glad you guys were out here, but you saw it last night in the work going against each other. There's really good players who are having really competitive work, but then there's a respect factor uh, throughout that thing as well. And I think the competition across the board at every position is very high. And, uh, you know, we've just got to continue to build on that uh, throughout. Right back, right back here. Yep. Well, yeah, I was just going to kind of build on that. You mentioned chip on, chips on the shoulder, attitude. Yep. Uh, specific things that attribute to that, in, in your opinion, what, what have you seen that, why do you think that's been created? Yeah, I just think started? over time, I think we're, we're all tired of losing. You know, we want to play a really good brand of football and uh, we want to make everybody proud that support Short Attack, the fan base, the alumni, the former players, and uh, all the people that support this great institution. And, you know, we've got a collective edge and a collective chip on our shoulder to go out there and do that. And uh, you just see the guys, the way they work, the way they, uh, you know, attack the field. There's a heightened sense of urgency uh, across the board. And uh, there's a seriousness uh, with this group that I'm excited about. And, uh, you know, we just got to continue to just get better every single day. Paul right here. Kind of to follow up on that, obviously that's obviously, do you, do you go into this year feeling like you're 
coaching for your job, that you have to show some significant improvement to, to keep your job. And, and how do you, you know, not let that sure. outside focus on you and your future right. affect the team? No, I think just every single day, you know, and the guys that know me intimately, you know, over the last three and a half years, uh, know that every day there's a sense of urgency and just the inner desire uh, to want to see a place that I truly love, um, you know, these players and what we do for a living and are blessed to do, every day there's a sense of urgency to do that, um, you know, and then it's compounded um, when you're not seeing the success yet that you want. And, uh, you know, I think the guys, you know, uh, have that sense of urgency as well. And, uh, you know, just got to continue to get better and that be the focus every single day in that regard. Is it tough though to keep that up? I mean, everybody wants to have success sure. or have people talking, saying nice things about them. Is it tough just for you personally to hear uh, some of the criticism and what has been directed at you? Yeah, say? I'm sure that, so the, the guys that know me, know me well, I do a good job of being able to block out all of that um, and just control what I can control. And the thing that I control every single day is the way that I wake up, the attitude that I have, how I come into the building, um, how I positively affect the players, uh, put them in a position to be successful, and find ways, new people that may come into the organization, uh, new ways to do things, try to turn over every stone uh, to put a really good product on the field. And all the work that the guys have done that will have to continue to translate into success uh, when we get to college football games. That's the total focus for me and for the whole organization. But uh, on the subject of Jeff Sims, a yeah. uh, couple of things. How has the hire of Chris Winkie yeah. and, and Coach Long helped his development? And a word we heard from the, some of the players was comfortable was the word that sure. described his you know, his play out back there now. You know, what have you seen? <clears throat> and it's, it, it's uh, Obviously, we all know how talented Jeff is. Uh, he's had to play a lot of ball at a young age for us. And uh, I just think his development and his embracing of being coached, uh, have a new offensive coordinator, a very multiple schematics and different things that we can do. Uh, and then you bring in Chris Winkie, who has the resume as a player and as a coach, uh, and is pouring into him all day, every day. Uh, it's just Jeff's embracing of all of that and taking advantage of it. And then we talk about the extra time that we've been able to have with them and the day-to-day -day coaching and the football school, all of those things have added to him coming out on the first day. And he had a really good day yesterday. Um, and I think, you know, with the secondary, uh, I know there's been a lot of conversation about the secondary and the things that we've got to do on the back end really well. Um, there was tight windows that Jeff was having to throw into and it was really good to see his confidence, his deli delivery, knowing where to go with the football based on the schematics and the reads and all those things. And uh, just excited to see him continue to develop and play at a very high level. He's motivated to do it. And, uh, you know, the guys are rallying him around him and we just got to continue to do that. Tell about the others. Uh, coach, three of your first five opponents won at least 10 games last year. Um, as a head coach with so many new faces, what's going to be the challenge of getting ready for so many quality opponents so sure. early in the season? Yeah, and I think that <laughs> the guys that follow us regularly, you know, having a really good schedule um, or a tough schedule, however you want to frame it, uh, that, that's, what we're, that's what we're used to. And, uh, you know, I think it gives added motivation throughout the offseason. I, you know, I don't know that – uh, those are contributing factors to the sense of urgency that our guys have, the attitude, the demeanor, uh, the narrowing of focus, uh, knowing that we've got a great opponent in game one. And then we also know and we hear the talk of the schedule and all these other things. And I think it just narrows the focus for the guys and uh, wanting to play at a high level generally, but also knowing that you've got such great opponents uh, throughout the year that you've got to get ready for and play at a high level for. Okay. Um, regarding just the influx, particularly from the portal, um, have you seen the, the guys coming from other places? I guess clearly I think of coming from places like Alabama and Clemson, that they can bring something to help kind of build what you guys are building and, and bring their own ideas and, and sure. kind of how, to, how to build it. Yeah, I think the, the interesting piece is the um, all the guys, wherever they're coming from, um, all have unique experiences, all have unique reasons of why they chose to come here. And uh, they've done a really nice job uh, assimilating into the locker room, 
um, learning some things from other places and how uh, they can help our team. And I've been proud of our guys, how they've embraced the newcomers. I've uh, been proud of the newcomers, how they've embraced the guys that are in existing uh, points of leadership. Uh, you know, I think we've got a lot of guys that have uh, developed within the organization that have played a lot of ball um, that are excited about the new guys and taking the next step and then helping us as well. Miles, Coach, when you first got here at Georgia Tech, uh, you talked a lot about how this is going to be one of the biggest you know, transformative processes, you know, going from the triple option sure. to, to the new offense. And, yep. you know, a few years in now, how would you assess how that transformation has taken place? You know, maybe wins, losses aside, sure. where would you say that that's at now? Yeah, and I don't, I don't want to talk about, you know, any of those things. All I want to talk about is I'm excited about where we are right now. Um, the, the sense of urgency, the edge, the chip on the shoulder that our guys have right now. Um, all of the added things that we've been able to, to do um, with the new coaches and the new players and the new time frames to be able to go out there and work on those um, are added benefits. Obviously, the last couple of years we have not had those, but there's no crutches, there's no excuses. Here's where we are and how can we do the best thing so that we get ready to play uh, September 5th. We're playing at a really high level and continue to build all the way through the year. Kelly. Coach, um, obviously you've reshaped your entire offensive staff, basically. Yep. Um, and then you have guys like Coach Cheney that you brought in to help. Sure. How, is that something that is now for you to work more with the defense? Is that Was that sort of the approach of having a Chip Long and Chris right. Mickey and those guys and bringing in maybe some higher profile guys in those positions? Is that Was that sort of that thought process for you? Well, I think the, you know, anytime there's transitions on the coaching staff, you're looking for uh, what's the best fit for the organization, um, who can elevate the program, elevate that side of the ball, whatever side of the ball that is. Um, but obviously, you know, a lot of the decisions that were made were made for me to be able to spend more time with the defense. And uh, I think you guys were out here um, early in practice last night and got to see that uh, firsthand. Um, you know, Andrew Thacker's our defense coordinator, does a really good job. He's the play caller. We've been able to bring David Turner on the defensive side of the ball as well uh, to help with the run game. Uh, Travars Tillman, uh, as one secondary coach, a singular voice in the DB room, has been really good as well. Um, but obviously, my my uh, ability to be on that side of the ball even more uh, is benefited by having Coach Long, having Coach Winky, bringing in Mike Daniels, coach the running backs, Dell Alexander, who has uh, such uh, great familiarity with Coach Long's offense, and uh, you know, an advisor. Uh, to the level of, you know, Coach Cheney is uh, also a great benefit and a great sounding board and um, someone that I've relied on as well, just for ideas and thoughts and, you know, different things that we can do to help the program. But I just think all the new, um, fresh ideas and people that I can lean on as well has been very beneficial for the program.